Hello, and welcome to the Homely House. Today we're going to explore different ways you can score a paper without a scoring board. Now over the years, I had heard that you could use a knife and a ruler if you didn't have a scoring board. So I went to the kitchen and I just grabbed a butter knife. And then I looked around to see what other items that I could use that I thought might score paper. So these are them. Now in the middle, you can see the line for my scoreboard and how deep that is. So I do have a scoreboard. It is st Stampin' Up. It is huge. <laughs> I got it as a hostess gift for hosting a Stampin' Up party years ago. So I do have a scoreboard, but I didn't pay for it. So I don't want, I don't know how much they cost, but I thought there has got to be other ways where you don't have to buy a scoreboard. So as you can see, this is where I used all these items. I got them all right here. All these items to score my paper. And none of them really worked that well. I used this pink mat, and they didn't work very well. You can see on the back there's hardly any line. I don't feel anything. On the front, you can feel the ridges, but it's not very deep. So what I did was, I went and got my stamp board map, stamp pad. It is what I use for block stamps, and this is what it, the packaging looks like. I bought this at Joanne's for 97 cents on clearance. So that's what it looks like. This is the pad. And as you can see, it worked much better. You can see all the ridges. The scissors worked the worst of all of them. And on the back, you can see the score lines. So using the stamp pad really did help. And you can see the difference, too, between the, the ridges. So yeah, so after all that, my conclusion is that the mechanical pencil and the ruler worked the best. Dog hair. There we go. We have dog hair everywhere here. So I just wanted to show you. On the mat. Pushed up. That's the score line on the mat with pencil. You can see it on the back. It came out really, really good. And it scores like that. And then on my regular craft mat, which is just, look, it's the mat I used to use to cut fabric on, but I have a larger mat, so I just brought this down here to use for crafting. So use my pencil, press down. And that's that line. I made a little ridge. Not so much on the back, but you can see it. So it did work. And it can be folded. You might have to, um, you're going to have to use your, your uh, a bone folder or a pencil. But yeah, it did work. And you can go over it more than two times. I just went over it two times. But after the fact, I thought, why didn't I just use my bone folder? So, I have the We Are Memory Keepers punch board, the one, two, three punch board, and it come it came with a bone folder. So I used that. This was on my regular flat mat, and this was on the gray mat, and both actually worked pretty well. So I'll try that. Just score it. So that was on my regular craft mat. You can see a line on the back. You can see a line on the front. It does go over. Then on my gray board.
screwed really nicely. You can see a nice score on the back and it does fold nicely. So if you wanted to invest in just a bone folder, you could use a ruler, your craft mat, or a stamp pad and emboss just fine. But if you don't want to invest in a bone folder or a scoring board, you can use your ruler and a mechanical pencil and even just your regular mat and that will work as well. So I made this card and as you can see over here I scored the edge for just a decorative look and I think it came out nice. So you can make a card like this using just mechanical pencil and a ruler. I hope that helps. Have a great day. Bye.